Welcome to Learn Automotive. In this video, I'm going to reply to your comments. So we have so many uh, technical queries. Let's get started. Let's have an explanation for the answers I have been uh, given so far, right? So the first question is, so thanks for the video. After confirmed, after confirmed DTC is set, see, uh, there is in status, there's a DTC, right? So whenever the DTC is being set, the status of the DTC have eight bits. So the eight, in the eight bits, confirmed DTC, that is confirmed DTC bit is single bit. So the question is after confirmed DTC is set, the fault is cleared. Okay, so there is a DTC created, then the confirmed bit has been set, then the DTC has been cleared, the fault has been uh, cleared. So what will happen, whether the confirmed DTC will be cleared. So that's what his question is. The confirmed DTC will be one to zero. Okay, so the answer is yes. There won't be any bit set of the that is the one thing you have to understand. Once the DTC has been uh, created or the fault has been created, the confirmed DTC sets. So after fixing the DTC, that is after fixing the fault, then you have to do reset, power reset. So once you do the power reset or you do the ECU reset 1101, then obviously the confirmed DTC bit will become zero. All right. So this is a uh, logic. And uh, I'm not see the video in the showing green screen. So you have to just uh, reload it. Uh, fine. And requesting the stored DTC, we are meaning the old DTCs. So we will not take into consideration bit six and four. So what should be the final mask be when the asking for the DTC? Is it possible to use 1902? I'm a little bit confused. I appreciate if you're okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Again, yeah yeah sure so actually uh, let me make a next video for this okay so this is a uh, this one i have to um reply with the bits so i have to give you the detailed explanation so that along with this another concept also will be covered so maybe soon the next video will be uh broadcasted so for this question yes that will be the answer right so here actually the question is like uh if for the Failed DTC for only failed DTC, we are using a function for a function called 1902. That is the complete uh, request format is 190201. Okay, uh, and what he want is he want the old DTC. That is, uh, there is a option called to record the historic DTCs. Okay, so even we have the sub functions on the zero uh, A, zero B for the uh, first confirmed DTC, last confirmed DTC. So everything we have a different DTC. So that will be in our upcoming video. I'll just explain this, like uh, what we want to do for the first created DTC. That is older DTCs or the historic DTCs, right? So definitely I'll make video on this. So I have a question. What is the relation between the snapshot and record number? Okay. So yeah, uh, see snapshot means, uh, see it's not, it's not only snapshot, it's a snapshot data. Okay, say for example, um, here the question is what is the difference between snapshot and record number right see uh, snapshot means it's a snapshot data okay see if if there is some malfunction occurred okay if there is some malfunction occurred in the engine okay so what will happen is um, uh, at the time of malfunction occurred on the engine what would be the other data say for example what is the throttle position or what is the accelerator pedal position uh, what would be the um, the brake pressure brake cylinder master master cylinder pressure so these things has been uh, uh, been taken as a snapshot data at the time of fault has been occurred okay say for example the second minute uh, that is a 120th second there is a, some fault occurred in the engine ECO okay in the engine in the powertrain okay so at that time what would be the these data so like whatever data you want you can uh, you can just put it in the snapshot data okay snapshot uh, uh, data record in the snapshot data record if you have four data so like i want to know the throttle whenever the powertrain gets uh, fault i want to know the throttle position i want to know the engine rpm i want to know the vehicle speed i want to know the master uh, cylinder uh, master brake cylinder pressure so these four data i want to know okay or uh, one more you can add so steering angle uh, the the range of the steering angle at the time of malfunction occur so you want the five data at the time of the malfunction occur in the power train so that is called snapshot data record and record number is for these five uh, rec uh, data record you will have some number specific number like for the uh, you know for, uh, for the steering 
uh, angle you will is for the steering angle sensor uh, module you will have some number called 04 and for um, the brake you have the number 02 and for the um, uh, throttle position you will have 1a so like this the, the reference for this natural data there will be a record number so that is that is what the difference is you just want to correlate this if you have say for example if you have the data you know 1a is for uh, the uh, throttle position so you, whenever you want to read the whenever you want to know the data of the particular steer, particular throttle position when the DTC occurred for the part right you have to give the DTC and you have to give the record number or you can yeah you can give any of the combination you can give so you will get at the time of DTC occurred what would be this data that's it all right I hope it clear if not please uh, can get back again why 0 to 9 values are not used as a service identifier in UDS why it start from 1 0 so definitely there is uh, uh, there is the 0 to uh, 9 is a reserved value okay like this not only 0 to 9 even this year we have the new service called authentication so that is uh, I guess it's the 21 all right so the 21 is not earlier present the previous uh, ISOs it's not present this year they have included so that means the values whatever not present it will be it is reserved for the future maybe in after uh, 20 years or 30 years it's, it would be not 27 service it will be 40 service 40 services so it depends upon the uh, you know uh, developments and enhancements they may increase the service they may uh, make new things they may new make or uh, they may include uh, some other uh, features or the information to be retrieved so that can be added in the different services so there is no specific reason they have they need just reserved so if you if you go for any any kind of uh, the nrcs or these kind of services they'll have the initial on the final they'll have the reserved okay so they'll reserve for their futures uh, future informa information to put it as a services so i guess it would be clear thanks for the information okay so DTC avail availability must that is 0 3 what exactly it is see I just uh, I want to post uh, you know uh, do postmortem to this word um, status availability mask see uh, status means so DTC status availability mask so DTC status means what is the status of the DTC the DTC is active or not okay so availability mask means mask means with something covering okay so there is a variable for that variable variable there will be always one mask so the mask will uh, give you the current information okay say for example if it is 190206 okay in that the 06 is a status availability mask so whatever this variable uh, it, it, the mask never show the original thing okay there will be always temporary data so this is a variable in this variable there will be a mask so this mask will tell whether the DTC is present or not so that is what the DTC status availability mask that means the DTC is present or not okay if it is uh, Z, the, the 8 bits of DTC has 00 or uh, 01 or uh, 0 so whatever it is okay 2C or 2A 28 whatever it is that will be given in the DTC availability mask so for for uh, ensuring that is there for checking is there any any DTC present or not for that we are requesting with the DTC status availability mask so this is the DTC status availability mask so what is then DTC status means um, the answer for this so whatever you are requesting that you are getting that's it okay uh, another reply if there is no need of PCA as 03 190203 yes if there is C that's what in most of the organization they, they, they never gives the PCA LAN so because of the OEM tools or the supplier tools they'll just give the request uh, friend that is starting with the service ID they will not give the PCA LAN it will take inbuilt okay so just to reduce the human effort so very informative thank you status of DTC is ADAF how ADAF relates with the bit of DTC yeah it will uh, see it is a bit of if we see how it is related is for the uh, see for the status of the uh, DTC we have eight bits okay one second one 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 yeah for the uh, for this we have eight bit so how the eight of relates with the status bits of DTC so for this status bits we have eight bits okay if you go with the eight 
uh, say I'll take eight. Eight means it is one zero zero zero. So four bits cover. And F means one 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 one. So four bits cover. So these four, these four plus four, eight bits holds eight bits of information like confirmed DTC, pending DTC. We have this information. Okay. So that's so that's all about the uh, status of bits. Even the st uh, status of DTC also we have that on video. You can also watch that. Definitely, it will be helpful. So again, please reply as a, even if I have doubt on the DTC mask already, the availability DTC status mask. So this is also status mask and the availability. That's what I said. So once it is masking, that is if you want to check what are the DTCs present, available DTCs present. So that is the availability DTC status mask. And what are the DTCs? The answer it is giving, right? So the, the what are what are the mask has the answer, right? How many DTCs are present? Uh, that is what is a uh, DTC status mask. All right. So availability means we are requesting status mask means we are uh, getting the response. Hi, sir. What is zero two and zero three that added after zero one zero two? Okay. In the which video? Okay. In this video, 190203. I'll just watch this video. I need to watch this video. I'll reply in the same comment. Okay. Hi, could you please help me? I define a diagnosis, read out all the details stored in the BCM. Uh, test fail. Okay. The test fail or DTC. I should define a diagnostic message, uh, read out all the DTCs which are stored in the BCM and or in UDS status. Okay. I'll just uh, reply to this. That please elaborate your query. I have a receiver. Okay. Please explain 2F and 86 in UDS. Yeah, sure. Found in YouTube. Yeah, sure. I will. Um, yeah, I'll make a video for this. And also, aging counter is what is the concept of aging counter? So, aging counter is uh, literally the name itself we can indicate, right? The, the name itself indicates once the counter keep on increasing, the aging it, it, it is mainly used for the DTC, DTC aging. So, how long the DTC presence? Okay and uh, the counter is something that is the different counter for the different uh, DTCs so once the counter exceeds the maximum limit then there will be the indication like you have to take your vehicle okay to the service station so that's what aging counter is it's a uh, it relates the DTC and how long the DTC present in the ECU memory what tool you are using so I'm using the tool is uh, it's a car scanner okay so for the obd protocol i'm using the tool called car scanner can you make video on the snapshot and data records yes definitely i am trying to read ddc with the mass zero and what would be the output of the same yes i'm trying to read the ddc with the status mass zero nine what would be the output of the status mass zero nine yeah definitely i'll make video on it because as we reach 1500 subscribers successfully like even though there is no much videos so maybe the next video will be the not next video so next video will have some explanation for the questions on the elaboration in detail I'll explain so after that we'll have the video on complete or uh, no read DTC information it is all I think it's a uh, 26 sub functions all together in a single video uh, that uh, I'm just making it I'm creating the content for that so definitely the video will last around 50 minutes to one hour definitely it will be useful and if you spend your one hour you can um, yeah you can understand you can learn in the one hour of the complete uh, 19 service that is read this information so that all your queries will be answered or that you will be clear if really you want that please hit a like and leave a comment so that i'll make much and faster so that it will motivate me to do uh, as much as possible Thanks for your information. You took example if one DTC present, how tester get response? How tester get? Okay, sorry. Um, you took example as if one DTC present, how tester get response? But if multiple DTCs are present in the issue, how will get response? Could you please see? Same. If if we have one DTC, we'll get the response of the only one DTC. If we have multiple DTC, say for example, if you have two DTCs, you'll have a six bytes of information will be resolved. If you have uh, ten DTCs, you'll have thirty bytes of information. 
good explanation i need again brief about pending dtc just not completed sure i'll i'll do it on the status dt status um, of the dtc i'll do it has is what does 01 so for me so 1901 means that before the count value 01 service name. see 01 is a sub function so the function is it uh, see the if you watch the video the 01 is sub function the sub function tells you that the length of the uh, number of dtc is present just it will give the number say for example the last the question as i uh, i give if you have the 10 dtc present it will give uh, for if you for the request 1901 1901 you will uh, get the responses not only 1901 and some uh, status mask availability like 190106 or 08 whatever it is the response will be 5901 and what the number is how, how many ddc present if it is a 10 you'll get the 10 if it is 9 you'll get the 9 so the number you'll get so 01 is just a sub function right at 4 minute 56 second thanks for the detailed uh, uh, comment you are saying uh, by status mask is 190026 so here what is 6 so 6 is there are no, a total number of sub function under the status mask is 6 there is no nothing related to the information that you are going to give or you are going to receive okay this is just there is just a 6 sub function under status mask it's just our own analysis there's nothing like um, you have to give it in the frame or nothing you can ignore the 6 completely when you are going for a request just for understanding like the 6 sub functions rely on the status mask that's it okay nothing else when we use sub function 0 to in case you got a DTC 1A2B3C and its status, what if there are more than one DTC system? That's what I, I said in the previous comment. So if more than one uh you know one DTC, you will receive the particular DTC as well as that particular DTC status mask. Like four bytes you will receive. I'm sorry, not three bytes or 30 bytes, four bytes, three bytes for the uh, DTC and a fourth byte for the DTC status. That is the uh, pending confirmed test completed those things will be there can you make can you make this in spanish definitely not because i don't know spanish thank you yeah i think i have covered the past um, whatever the comments i have not in the last uh, reply to comments video i have covered uh, almost till this and now i end with this and i have the reply to the comments with the in detail and after that definitely there will be the video on the complete read this information if you really want it right so that's all about this i hope you learn something in this video if yes again hit and subscribe if you are not and share your friends too uh, i'll get back to you in the next video until then bye take care